What is good, Model Squad, and welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna be answering all of the questions that you guys have for Bill because when I tell you we have never had more comments, people are confused and w wondering like, what is a hair transplant and like, why does he look like that? What happened to him? We're gonna answer it all here right now. So many people think that I totally screwed up my head and a lot of people don't understand actually what I did and why my hair looks like this and why I did it. And I know most of them don't even know that I my hair was receding because I did cover it up good, but we're basically gonna be answering all of those questions in this video, so make sure to stay tuned. We will literally get through probably every question that you are yes, thinking of. Yes, because I feel like we need to answer it all one and done, whether this is a long video or not. Especially people on TikTok, I feel like YouTube side understands it more, but a TikTok that's kind of like a younger audience. Well, there's so, so many more people too yeah. that saw the video. And also, thank you so much for all the support. Literally, our recent videos have gotten over like three, four million views. So of course, there's gonna be a lot of confusion. new confusion in the chat. Especially, when, especially people that don't even know Especially us. you having, looks like you had hair, and then all of a sudden you, you like literally. Yeah. No hair. Oh. Oh, 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 and also if you see that my head looks bigger than it did in our other videos, it's because since this is the third day after surgery, they said after the third or fourth day, my head is going to dramatically swell up. So it's swollen. So I'm it's sure it's gonna get even more swollen, swollen than this. Yeah. But it's really like tight right now. So make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and we're gonna, recovery. Yeah, we're gonna try to answer every single question right now. Let's go. So I just wanna start off with one thing. Someone asked me on TikTok, why can't he talk? So the reason I said he couldn't talk was because if he does too much like expression, he laughs, he like does too much his stitches are bleed will bleed it was only now he could you could talk a little bit more right yeah. it's still, but he's still more stiff so uh, that's why I said I would do most of talking if you see I'm literally gonna be like this the whole time I could take this off but I can't really look down or look up too much otherwise like it'll stretch my scalp and the stitches probably will get irritated and or pull apart a little bit I'm doing most of talking it's just to kind of I can't out. laugh either yeah I'm really gonna be really dull but like yeah. I'm not dull guys you know I'm energetic <laughs> so that's why I'm gonna do most of the talking and that's why I said I would do most of the talking just because it's harder for him to talk but first and foremost question why did you get the procedure and what is a hair transplant so we're gonna pop up a picture on the screen right now we're gonna show you guys what Bill's hair looked like so as you guys could see in this picture right here his hair was receding you know he didn't have hair he didn't have a lot of hair on the top of his head he was balding we, we explained this in our last couple videos explaining like what's going on and why he's getting the procedure so basically he was balding and receding so basically you could see that I kind of had hair in the middle hair on the sides but it went back you know on the two edges right here it would keep receding obviously and my dad and my grandpa have like a whole line of no hair so his dad's hair he, he he's bald until here like it's kind of like a U. so he still has a lot of hair in the back and the front so they're not completely bald but they're bald like all right they here. as in my dad and grandpa yeah so I was bound to get it and I already was so since you as you saw in the picture my two sides are receding back eventually my my front hair would go and it probably looked like this with no hair you know what I mean yeah so the main reason why I wanted to do it was to fill in the parts that already receded and also try to stop any further receding in the future that could happen now that all this hair is in here I know a lot of people are like well it could still go away because it's on the front of your head but in reality no they this hair up it. here, since they implanted it from my hair back here, for some reason, hair on the back of your head will grow forever. And as you can see, there's 90, 100 year old people, guys in particular, that only have the back of their head hair. And since they planted that in the front, it's there to stay and it's never gonna go away. Yeah, it's basically just so he has more full hair. Cause I don't know if you guys really could tell, cause a lot of people thought he, you were wearing a wig. No, he wasn't wearing a wig. He basically took all his hair from the back and pushed it forward. Forward, which, I still have all of it right here. Yeah, he still it's, has it. I'll show you guys. I just can't put my hair down. But right now, as you can see, there's like clips in my head. Yeah. And it's holding all my hair down. So I didn't shave my head, guys. Like, look it. I still have long hair. I would just put it all like this. Yeah. In front of my head. So he just right now can't really do any of that. That's why he looks like bald. And that's why he- Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Your sister actually asked the question, like, why yeah. is it like Frankenstein? So once he like can touch his hair and stuff, he will be pulling it all forward. But the thing that's really awesome about this hair transplant 
plant is that in a month it's gonna start growing okay but then the four to six months you're really going to see it start it's gonna maybe look like it's probably gonna be like an inch long yeah you know, after like four months so then after a year by then I'll be styling it the way that I want to and I'll, I'll be all good but for now we just have to go through the slow process of all of this healing and I feel like once you guys actually see how it works and what it looks like in a year you guys will better understand it basically he's gonna have fuller hair he's not gonna have to hairspray his hair to stay you know if it pull if it flies back you're not gonna see any balding you're just gonna, gonna see my nice freaking hairline that yeah. I have now that literally he never is my had hairline a, he never had a hairline like that it's darker because it's it's kind of red from the dried you know blood but like it's my hairline and this is how it's gonna look and it's gonna be freaking full and I love it yeah he's not gonna he's gonna be able to like not have all his hair up forward he's basically just gonna like style it up which is gonna be amazing so moral of the story for this this is the biggest question guys that's the only reason why we're elaborating on this first question we freaking love all you guys and for all of you that were wondering why I got it it's because I know you didn't know but my hair was receding and and I've never showed it. That's why. And I he, feel like if people saw it in the past, they would be like, oh, that makes sense. But nobody even knew. Yeah, nobody you know really I mean? knew. And it's something that he was insecure about and he wanted to make himself feel more confident. I wasn't hiding it. It was just like, why I didn't need to show it because it's like, that's not how I liked doing my hair. I liked putting it up front, you know? And since we're on camera and we film, you know, he wanted that extra confident booster. Yeah. And that's, you know what? I support him and I love him. It's what he wanted to do. And I, yeah, I just, I think it's a really good thing that he did this. So everyone's asking, how did they numb you with the needle? Like, how how did it work? Did you feel anything? How was the procedure in general? Like the hardest was part was the first injecting the serum or whatever they had to numb me up in my head. And they had to start from one side and go all the way around to the other side. And everything above that became numb. So when they poked it, it kind of felt like a bee sting over and over and over. And they, they probably poked it like 50 times. They did 50 little, like, I could imagine being stabbed in your head basically. It's like being stabbed in your head with poke. It definitely made my eyes water, but for me, I handled it very well, they said. I really didn't squeeze any of the stress balls that they gave me at all. But that was the worst part. Other than that, when they like do everything, when they cut your head and all that stuff, I'm not really gonna get into it because it's kinda kinda gory. But once they do all that, you're already so numb, you cannot feel anything except pressure. Yeah. Like you could feel someone obviously pushing your head, but you can't feel, like if I touched my head, I couldn't I, I couldn't feel it. So, and I also know some people are asking like, oh, will his hair not grow back in that spot? So actually, I thought the same thing, but when I looked at it, you see there's hair follicles still all by the stitches. This is what they did. Basically, this is my scalp. They cut out a piece, so now it's like that. And then they pushed my scalp together, so now it's, it's closed again, you know what I mean? They had like a little sliver that they cut out and then they just sewed it together and now once it grows back together, there's gonna be nothing but a little, little scar line. Yeah, I think scars are cute. So I'm gonna be like, damn, I'm gonna But the stitches go from here to here, all the way around my head. They, they did a lot. Yeah, so when we showed you guys that picture, you guys can see that Bill literally had no hairline. I was really looking at it yesterday night, and I was like, wow, he really didn't have a hairline. Like, this is crazy that you actually have a hairline. You have hair that's gonna grow there. You're not gonna have to, I like... I have a good hairline, Yeah, too. it's gonna be... Oh, my God, I am so excited. We're gonna give you guys a month update, six-month update, and a year update. Oh, my gosh, it's gonna be so it's, exciting. It's already exciting. I, I can't know. wait just for it to fill in. So, next question is, what's the pain level? How is How painful now is it? during I, I would say like okay the so that last couple days pain level like during it was zero because you couldn't feel it yeah now pain level last night when it started to swell up was the only pain that I've had in the oh, last couple days okay and it was probably like an irritating five or six okay and show them how you have to sleep every night show them how you have to sleep. I basically have to wear this so my head doesn't hit back because I don't know if you know I'm gonna show you my stitches guys so it's kind of just close your eyes for five seconds if you don't want to see them See, if you could see my stitches back there, I don't wanna lean back and irritate them because they're still healing together. And actually, I don't know if you saw, but this one had a big black spot on it. It's because it was bleeding, bleeding, bleeding until it all kind of finally stopped bleeding last night. So I can't clean it off until it's all done, but I basically have to sleep like this. He can't sleep on the bed with me, which is actually really sad because- And it's so uncomfortable. We, this is the first time we actually have slept away from each other in this house, I sleep and it's like so this. sad. Yeah, he had sleep on the couch, and I guess last night he didn't sleep at all. It was like the worst sleep well, of his it life. It was so swollen that sleeping like this, it, it hurt so bad that I couldn't even I couldn't even go to sleep. Honestly, the worst part about this whole procedure is not being able to sleep right for the, for probably a week after. Yeah, it, That's the 
absolute worst. It is. Honestly, sleep is like everything, and having to sleep like that way is just so uncomfortable. Especially because Mariah just got new silk sheets covers for our bed. I can't even oh, lay in my so bed. Comfy. And I got I more just pillows. Sleep away too. from her. I know it's so sad. I've been it's missing bogus. his attention. It's bogus. Someone asked, "Will it be the same color as his hair, or slightly off?" So it's going to. It's the exact same hair. It's the exact same hair. They basically just took hair from the back of your head, implanted it, and it's gonna forever stay they there. They just transferred the hair. Yeah. Literally, that's why it's a hair transplant. They transferred your hair and planted it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. It's your exact same hair that was growing in the back, and you're not even gonna see any hair growth difference in the back since they you know shut that off and people are like oh why doesn't he just go bald like it's just hair like why is he making a big deal why is that one a good head of hair he some everyone has this different insecurities and some people you know don't feel comfortable with being bald and that's okay I like, could have went bald yeah. but really like I'm so blessed to be able to be in the position that I am in and because of all you and all of your support like we literally freaking love you guys like I just want want to just say that because without all of our Marvel squad supporting us throughout the years watching our videos I would not have been able to afford a procedure like this but at the same time honestly it's affordable because if you think about it like this it was eight thousand dollars okay to do this procedure but think about it in a way of yeah it might sound like a lot which it is but it lasts you a lifetime so if I live till I'm 85 that literally is another 65 years so eight thousand dollars really doesn't sound like a lot I'm gonna do the math for you guys ready for this so 65 years eight thousand dollars if you divide that by 65 years that means you're only paying 123 dollars a year that's not that bad honestly ten dollars a month for the rest of your life so it's really not that much to get a lifelong like set he but I could have shaved yeah you know, that's that is the you know easier route but I wanted hair I wanted hair my dad doesn't have hair my grandpa doesn't and I wanted to change the hairline in my family and, uh, and I wanted to be the first dude in the family that yeah. has hair and everyone's like oh it, it's not gonna last like you're gonna bald again like you're gonna it it's won't. not gonna it, stay there it'll it'll stay there. it'll guys. stay there he might have to get a touch-up like back here in a ne the next 10 years if he does receive more that's the thing for people and this is like really 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 key for people that are curious on doing it yourself I do want to warn you the younger you do it the risky year it is that you'll have extra receding in the future so since I'm only 21 a lot of places don't even like let you do it if you're 18 19 because mm -hmm. when you're 23 through 25 26 that's when you mainly see your hair and the the pattern that it's receding in since I did it so young there is a chance that all like my some of my long hair will keep receding maybe another inch back and then I'll have like a lot of hair here a little sliver with no hair and then a lot of hair in the back there is a chance of that. Yeah, which you might but have to touch it up in I the future. I took the risk, and if I have to touch it up in the future, I freaking will. It'll be, it won't even be till like 20 years if I did see any more receding. So yeah, yeah I really like, honestly, it's it's worth it to do it early for me, especially because I'm on camera all the time. I want to be able to film without like having to like worry about my insecurity like that. And honestly, like, I feel like this is going to boost his confidence, like with Instagram pictures. Like he's constantly like, oh, my hair doesn't look good in that. Oh, my hair doesn't look good in that. Like he, this is just going to boost him up. And I can't wait to see you like flourish like that because I know this is, uh, guys, I'm telling you, he <laughs> just, he was been standing in the mirror looking at himself like, wow, I have a hairline. Like he's already feeling confident. Even though he looks bald right now, he's feeling so confident, which is amazing. Here, I can give you guys for you, those of you that haven't really seen it. This is an update of how it looks. If you got trophobia like me. Oh yeah. It's not, it doesn't actually look holy. I think it's it looks not. holy. There's no holes. There's no holes. There's no holes. It's, just it's all blood healed. Spots. It's all healed together. It's just left over from when they put it in, but that's how it looks. They also want to know if you were awake or asleep during that procedure. I was awake the whole time. Yeah. I was watching YouTube, like music and stuff on YouTube, and we were watching music videos, and they were they were a dope team to work with because like it was fun the whole time, and I got a lunch and everything. Oh, and also, next question that people are wondering, like why I look so wacky? I can't get a haircut until I heal up, and this is the longest my hair has ever been on the side. That's why it looks like he looks like a grandpa. That's because, why it looks, yeah, because yeah. grandpa usually have a lot of hair on the sides and no on the top. <laughs> so when I do get a haircut, I'm gonna obviously fade it on the sides, and it's gonna it's gonna look so good. And Trust also, the process. all of that is my long hair, like I said, all bunched up on top. 
So it's it's literally like my hair is like probably this long, you know? Yeah. And and they basically put it in a ponytail and then clipped it all together so it doesn't hang anywhere. And so that's it. why my hair right now looks so wacky and I might look like a grandpa. But trust me, after I shave my sides, it's gonna all grow accordingly together. Isn't your hair follicles gonna fall out for in order for it to regrow? Oh yeah. So another question that um, a lot of people like you know were wondering is like how long it's gonna take to grow. So all the follicles that they implanted are all gonna fall out within two weeks okay the next two weeks so three weeks in total and then after a month I'll look bald and then a hair will start growing back out of those spots that the follicles fell out it's really weird how it works but after a month and I after I see all the fallout it'll come back even like thicker yeah and every time it like they fall out it comes back thicker so it, it, it oh my god it's gonna be so, so so good you guys might see Bill restyling his hair the way that he did just until his hair grows because once his hair grows I think what are you gonna like what kind of hairstyles are you planning to do everyone's um, wondering spike that too. it up we don't know spike it up he's like maybe oh i want to do a man bun put it to the side maybe do a man bun i don't know i You're feel gonna like be able to do whatever you want if i was able to pull all my hair and shave the sides it, it would look really good once i style it I, it's gonna look so much better a lot of people also ask did i get this done in turkey because i guess turkey like that country always does hair like they might specialize in hair transplants or maybe they're cheaper no I got it done in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I did not get it done in Turkey. I saw so many people yeah, saying, I oh, that. I bet he went to Turkey for that. I, I, don't even, I didn't even know that that was a thing in Turkey, but like I went to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, like literally two just, hours from my house. I just don't think people realized how bad it actually was and why you got it done. I think it's crazy that I was able to get surgery within a week of planning it. Yeah, I feel like that's why you guys are like, whoa, like it's such a, it's so like in your face because- Two weeks ago, we didn't even know we were gonna, or three weeks ago we didn't even know where we were gonna do yeah, it yeah i feel like no one really actually knew we hit them up and they were like oh you'd be a great candidate they gave me a price and i was like when's your nearest availability and they're like come tuesday of march what 15th or yeah. whatever that day was and i was like okay so i literally got it done within like a week and a half of booking so we it. really weren't able to hype it up really got get people to know so so nobody even knew and i feel like, like it's more tiktok because more some people don't from tiktok don't follow us on youtube so i feel like a lot of people are confused yeah so that's why i wanted to do a q a for all the tiktok that do want to come on here and watch it. I feel like a lot of the YouTubers kind of already know like what's going on, you know? I know I already covered this too, but a lot of people were asking how much it costs. Just to cover it again, it was $8,000 even, not any dollar higher. And then I have to go back in two weeks and get all the stitches removed. Which sucks, we have to drive all the way back out there. But they were such a good company. They, oh my, it was so weird that they're so nice, so sweet. You know, if you needed to call them for any reason, they answered, like they're, they're honestly a really good yeah. team. Really, really good team. So someone said on TikTok, your kids get gonna be confused. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I don't know. Just trust the process. It's you guys are really not gonna see the full effect until a couple of months, a year, honestly. So I feel like a lot of people don't really know how this works because I feel like a lot of people our age don't do something like this. So I totally get why people are confused. I get why people are asking so many questions. I would too, honestly. Like I, I would too if I didn't know. So I'm glad that we're honestly doing this Q and A to kind of get you guys to better understand why he did it and what like what actually goes down. With I'm the trying to look for more questions, but I. Really I really don't see any others. Everyone was just wondering why I did it and everyone was shocked why I did it. Someone said hats are a lot cheaper. Yeah, but when you jump in a pool and you get out, a hat's not gonna cover up that. Or if you like go outside and the wind's blowing in your face, your hat's gonna fly away. Yeah. I'd rather, I, it's gonna Everyone's be so nice. Different. Just Yeah, like everyone, some people choose to wear a hat. I personally don't like wearing hats. Honestly, I used to wear hats a lot and this is why I did not want to wear a hat. It hurts my head. After I wear a hat for a while, it makes your head sore. It's like wearing a bracelet. Like eventually you're gonna get annoyed. It's like, oh, I just wanna take, like you yeah. wanna take your bra off. It's just yeah. like, after a while, like the hat, it's just like, it, it makes you so annoyed of wearing it. Like I just like wanted something more permanent and this is like the most you can do. Everyone's different. Also, another question. No, he was not wearing a wig. No, oh, he was yeah. not wearing a wig. <laughs> I, everyone's like, oh, so was he wearing a wig this whole time? It well, looked people like he... thought that this was like how it looked underneath. Yeah. But I had a lot of hair. They shaved my head before they, they did this. I had a lot of hair in the middle right here. Yeah. As you can see in that picture that we showed earlier, it's just on the sides I didn't. You could see like, if you saw up close, you could see all the follicles. Like I yeah. do have a lot of hair. It's just like they shaved it and no, I was not wearing a wig. No, he was not wearing a wig. He basically just pulled all his hair up from the front, like from the back to the front. That's why it kind of sucked for him because it was like he had to pull all that hair just to cover that spot. Now and like, I would literally like 
go outside if I didn't put any product in it like Ugh. the days that I didn't put any product in it, that's why I wore a hat because my hair would literally just like fall and it would just be all everywhere and it, it would just look bad so and also guys I would have loved him whether he was bald and whether he didn't want to this was my decision this was his decision this is what he wanted and honestly I supported him with whatever decision he wanted to make whether that was him getting the procedure or not like I and I'm really happy that he did because I can't wait to see him be more confident within oh. himself he's sore guys he's swollen you know there's a lot that goes down in this procedure but I will say you've been really strong during it yeah I've been chilling I've been trying not to really make a big deal about it but like other than like the swelling that was the only worst part yeah now it's just like not being able to sleep sucks yeah and he probably you probably can't wait to sleep next to me in the bed dude I'm like running on like five hours of sleep right now uh, which like to some people that's like normal. what they get but like I usually get like eight to nine of hours of sleep <laughs> But eventually we'll get back there. Hopefully within a couple weeks my head will be all healed up and I'll be able to like lay down on my back without actually like messing up anything. I think we answered all the questions that we've seen. I mean, I feel like we basically answered them. Yeah, if you have any questions. more questions, like comment down below because we'll answer. we'll answer them down below or we'll answer them throughout our next YouTube videos. Like we literally appreciate every single one of you guys supporting us. Like my whole family was so excited for me to get this done. Yeah, they, were. they were actually like, oh heck yeah, like your dad's ball blah blah you're you know get it done I want to see how it is you know good for you like my whole my whole family was like psyched to get it done even my dad was like really like yeah curious he was he was excited on everything. Like my tell. dad wanted to get it done before oh, in the past that's really? why like me getting it done it's like well, to, hey, maybe, it's like he can see like how it actually is what if we, like in the future like do you think if we like pay for his hair transplant pay for my hair I don't know my dad's so comfortable with like how he looks yeah. now he would look like weird he having would look hair. weird having it's hair. like someone that doesn't have hair if they, if they had hair they would look heck of weird. I mean, he probably doesn't, your dad probably doesn't even care as much as you do because you're, oh, no. he's he not rather, he rather, yeah, he rather, he'd rather just feel the breeze on his face. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> he kind of likes it. Yeah. <laughs> but once again, thank you for all the support. I hope we answered the main questions. I know we did and the main reasoning why I got it done. But I hope this also gives you a little bit more of an understanding on like, this wasn't something to get done just because like, I had a little insecurity or problem. Like, this was just like a lifelong decision. Yeah. Yeah. that I wanted I want to have hair in my life and I don't want to you know have to deal with like more balling in the future so like I feel like there's no negatives to this at all no like he's like, I'm like oh my wait. god one just year from wait. now we're gonna be looking back at this video six months from now and you're gonna see why you just gotta this is like a trust the process type yeah of yeah especially because you guys don't see it very often maybe we'll pop up some pictures of people like transformations of people like because that's gonna be me yeah it's gonna be him in one year from now we're literally gonna oh, have oh my gosh we're, we'll do a vlog and and everyone was asking like is he gonna propose to me after because hey, this is the thing Bill really wanted this procedure too for our wedding he wanted to have a full set of hair yeah for like his now at my wedding. wedding I'll have like a nice hairstyle I've never had a hairstyle I've just kind of bunched it up in the front so now I'll actually have like good looking hair when we get married so he has so he can be like so yeah, even if i propose line. you know in a month in six months by the time that we get married it'll will still like even if i pose propose today by next year like if we got married within a year i'll have a good head, head of hair but we love you guys thank <laughs> you so much for all the support i'm gonna stop talking now because it it is kind of like making my head feel a little weird i know it sounds crazy but when you laugh and like use your emotions your whole skin is moving and stuff and it's just it's all stretching but yeah he and also i can't wait till he showers I can smell his hair. Like it's stanky. I can't shower yet though. Yeah, that's he the can't. thing. I, I literally have to wait for to like two more days before I could even wash the Maybe front. Maybe we'll film a little clip of him like washing his head. Cause Probably I for next video. Yeah, we'll yeah. show you guys like him washing his head. But we hope you enjoyed this video and I hope we answered all the questions that you guys had. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. But until, until then, then, peace. Love, love you guys. guys. And wish me luck on tonight going to bed. Hopefully I can get more than like four hours of sleep. Yeah, we'll get you more comfier tonight. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs>